Hello, my friends. Here we are again. I'm so glad you've joined us for the third and final video of the Ragas and Rhythm series. Today we're going to integrate the Raga melody we learned in the last video and perform it in the context of the rhythmic framework called Thala. Cool, this is where it gets exciting. This process will become more natural as you adapt these rhythms and melodies naturally into your own creative expression. And over time, eventually taking this material into your own songs, compositions, and improvisations. Finally, if you haven't been an improvising musician, the process of learning raga music will give you a structure and a form to begin this journey as an improviser as well. If you are an improviser, this process will open up many new ways to think and structure your spontaneous musical expressions. Thala is the concept of cycle in Indian music. There are many different thalas consisting of basic patterns of 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 beats, and many more. Today, we'll familiarize ourselves with the most common North Indian thala of 16 beats, known as tintal. Okay, let's learn the form of tintal so that we can sing and play the melody we learned in video two within the cycle of 16 beats and experience the integration of the elements of raga and thala together. Now I'm going to recite what is called the teka, the basic rhythmic pattern, and then count the beats and follow that by playing that pattern on tabla. Da din din da da din din da da din din na na din din da. One two three four five six seven. Now, instead of thinking of this rhythmic pattern in a linear way, we want to sense it more as a circle, or more precisely, a cycle. So let's try to visualize this rhythm as a wheel. Sometimes I like to think of it as a clock with 16 hours, but the one is at the top of the clock where 12 noon or midnight would be. Beat one is called sum and is notated with an X and shown with a clap of the hands. Sum means to come together, and it's the strongest beat of the cycle. The counterpoint of sum is called khali, which means empty. In Tintal, the 16-beat cycle, the khali lands on beat 9, which is halfway through the cycle. We notate khali with a circle and show it with an open hand. So we can think of Tintal as having its own dynamic shape, the sum being a strong beat, and the khali a weaker beat. When we internalize the tala, the sum and the kali help us know where we are in the rhythmic cycle. We need to know that sum is beat one and is shown with a clap, and that kali is beat nine, and we identify it with an open-handed wave. On beats five and 13, we also clap. So our cycle becomes four bars of four four. Clap on beat one, clap on beat five, then we wave on beat nine, the khali, and clap again on beat 13. Each time that cycle of 16 comes around to beat one, we have this event called sum, to come together. So let's try keeping the tala. You'll often see connoisseurs of Indian music doing this at concerts. Now keep the tala with us by either clapping or waving your hand at the appropriate downbeat of each bar. I'm gonna play the teka, the basic pattern two times, single speed and two times double speed. Here we go. Da, din, din, da, da. Now let's put the Yaman composition we learned into this Tintal framework of 16 beats. Now we'll sing the first part we learned in video two called Astai and continue into the second part of the composition which is new for you. This part is called Antara.
Very cool. Okay, now let's hear a little bit of another raga known as Jog. We'll be playing in the same 16 beat cycle of Tintal. And now I want you to practice your key skill one, pure active listening. So now you have specific things to listen for. The more you listen like this, the closer you'll be to feeling the music naturally. This is Rag Jog. I like to think of it as the blues raga. We're not going to study this raga now, but I want you to just pay attention to three things as you listen. Number one, feel the mood difference in this raga from the more austere character of Rag Yaman. We'll hear a little bit of alap with sitar and electric bass. Then you'll hear a gut or a composition and various runs called tans. Secondly, I want you to listen for the tintal cycle in the music. During the gut, you'll hear the recitation of the tablateca of tintal. Here we're practicing our key skill number three, integration. Finally, I want you to hear a very special kind of rhythmic cadence called tihai. A tihai is a rhythmic phrase or even a melody integrated with a specific rhythm to be repeated exactly three times. Tihai is the single most important rhythmic concept in North Indian music. Here's an example of a typical tihai. So listen to the recitation of the tihai at the end of this bass performance. The tihai expresses the exact phrasing and accent of the rhythm, but melodically, and completes the cycle with a mathematical resolution. Here's another example of playing a raga on a western instrument. This is a very famous raga known as Desh. Check out how we play off one another and improvise in the cycle of Tintal. That you came through all three raga and rhythm sessions with us. I hope very much you enjoyed exploring this musical universe of raga and tala. It's a fascinating creative discipline. 
one that has tremendous potential in expanding our musical vision into a world of limitless possibility. This work is the foundation of the Ragas and Rhythms Pro Music course, which begins with the foundational three-month curriculum. We'll dive into great detail through many musical examples, concepts, and practical applications. This course introduces several important ragas and rhythmic content that you can incorporate into your own music. Well, I hope that this experience inspires a lifelong love of the Indian ragas and creative music making for you. Please leave some comments, repost, and share this with some musician friends. We'd really appreciate that. Also, you can join our Raga Jazz Music Group for Musicians on Facebook. There you'll find listening links, conversations, and resources. It's a great place to interact and ask me any specific questions. All right, enjoy the musical journey. Bye for now. <laughs>